When it comes to retro game hunting, most people will tell you that Akihabara is a goldmine for cheapos. However, this isn't always the case. There are absolutely deals to be found in Akihabara, but you're mostly just going to find chain stores and fixed prices. However, if you consider yourself more of a collector, there are definitely shops worth your time checking out. Super Potato is not only the most famous retro game shop in Japan, but also the world. It's hard to believe that such a treasure trove of classics is hiding away in some back alley. The moment you walk in, you're blasted with video game nostalgia from all sides. Everything is here from Nintendo classics to early PlayStation and Dreamcast. While it is possible to find deals, especially for games missing their box, Super Potato serves collectors first and foremost, and you have to understand you're paying for quality and rarity. If you just want to play Super Mario, you're better off looking somewhere else. But if you're looking for an unopened box of Super Metroid or Zelda, this is definitely the place for you. Even if you don't plan on buying anything, Super Potato is still worth the visit. It's more of a video games museum more than a shop. And they've even turned the top floor into an old school arcade. That looks like it time traveled right out of the 90s complete with retro arcade games, a retro snack bar, and I guess even a life-size retro big boss. Another popular store for retro game hunting in Akihabara is Trader Headquarters. There are actually a couple of traders in Akihabara, each specializing in something different, but Trader Headquarters has the classics. While not as big or grand as other retro game shops in the area, you still might find a gem or two if you look hard enough. This was also one of the only few places where I could spot Neo Geo, but of course they were pretty expensive. Also worth a mention is that Trader is one of the few places in Japan that you can buy and sell imported games. One of the largest collection of classics you can find is at Retro Game Camp. Their main store has tons of Nintendo, PlayStation, and Sega hits. Not to mention a couple of rarities that are way out of a cheapo's price range. But retro hunters are probably going to be better off checking out their Dungeon Store, which is really just a geeky name for their basement store. There are a lot more deals found down here, but they're really not much better than Super Potato. In fact, sometimes they're even worse. There was a time when Book Off was the best place to search for cheap games in Akihabara. But these days their retro game collection is waning. And during my visit there are really only a few boxes to go through. However, they have a huge collection of original Nintendo DS, as well as PlayStation 2, so it still might be worth your time. There's also Hard Off, the sister store of Book Off. Their collection is probably the smallest you'll find in Akihabara, but surprisingly, they actually had more than Book Off. And these really weren't even that cheap compared to other stores I'd been to. In the end, if you only have time for one store, I'd probably recommend Super Potato. They were usually the cheapest, but honestly not by that much. And if you want my honest opinion about Akihabara, if you're just looking for cheap games, you're much better off looking online. Hey, if you like what you just watched, subscribe to our channel for more videos like them. And for more on Akihabara and other spots in Tokyo, visit our website at tokyocheapo.com.